The Seven Kingdoms is a single realm made up of seven realms that once were independent. King's Landing is the capital city of Westeros. It's huge and crowded and bustling. Each of the houses has their heraldic symbol. For the Baratheons, it's a crown stag. Robert Baratheon, the king who took control in his revolutions, he was originally betrothed to wed Ned's sister, Lyanna, but she died in the war. So instead, he's, he wed the daughter of another grace house, Cersei Lannister. There was a time, I believe, when Cersei loved Robert. I think she's about to open herself up to, to someone, and all she got was shut down. Robert's a good guy in some ways, but he's, he's someone who is much better fitted for winning the crown than he is for holding it. I'm not trying to honor you. I'm trying to get you to run my kingdom while I eat, drink, and haul my way to an early grave. He's married into a, a family who are possibly the most power-hungry, really. Scheming and arse-licking and money-grubbing. Sometimes I don't know what holds it all together. Our oh, marriage. Cersei and King Robert also have uh, three children. Uh, Prince Joffrey, who's the heir parent, and two younger children, Prince Tommen and Princess Marcella. Joffrey is a, he's a pretty mean guy. As, as a prince, he's pretty pompous and arrogant. I'm telling mother! <laughs> Robert has two brothers, Renly and Stannis. Renly is King Robert's youngest brother. There's a middle brother, Stannis, who we meet later on. He's grown up in a world where his brother has conquered his ways of being king. He's uh, been brought up in the Southern court, very educated. I've got seven kingdoms to rule. One king, seven kingdoms. You see how low some of these characters are prepared to stoop in order to fulfill their selfish ambition. Ours is the fury. These are the words of the Black Stag of Baratheon. A battle cry echoed throughout the land in rebellion when I, Robert Baratheon, the first of his name, seized the Iron Throne from the Mad King, Eris Targaryen, ending a dynasty nearly 300 years old. House Baratheon was born in the Wars of Conquest when Aegon the Dragon invaded Westeros. Aegon sent his commander, Oris Baratheon, to take Storm's End. Argilac the Arrogant, the last of the Storm Kings, foolishly left the safety of his stronghold and met the Baratheon warlord in open battle. Argilac was soundly defeated, and Oris took his lands, his holdings, and his daughter. Oris was said to be a half-brother to Aegon Targaryen. If this were true, a little blood of the dragon mingled with that of the stag in those days. The seat of House Baratheon is Storm's End, a legendary keep raised in the Age of Heroes. It overlooks Shipbreaker's Bay, where legend has it that Durin, the first Storm King, raised the keep with the aid of Bran the Builder of House Stark, forging a centuries-long connection with the Stormlands and the North. After Aegon's conquest of the Seven Kingdoms, the Baratheons remained loyal enough to the crown while Targaryen kings came and went. But loyalty has its limits. When Rhaegar Targaryen, Aerys's vile son and heir, abducted Lyanna Stark, my betrothed, my beloved, it was time to act. We raised our banners, Baratheon, Stark, Jon Arryn and the Tullys, united in rebellion against Rhaegar and his father, the Mad King. We were victorious and took the Iron Throne. That bit of dragon blood in my veins came in well, as it made me a distant relation to the Targaryen dynasty blood of my long-lost ancestor, Oris. The truth of it is, I took it. I sit on the Iron Throne. I rule the Seven Kingdoms from the Red Keep.